YouTube, YouTube. It's your boy Char, once again. Just checking out. I am up here at uh, Cleveland Cliffs Steel Mill. And I am about to be doing a furnace clean out. Now I'm gonna try to uh, show you guys exactly how we're doing. Basically, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already explained this before, but basically what it is, is we they have uh, four furnaces over here. And I, this is my guess, you know, it's a swag, it's a scientific wild ass guess <laughs> as to what this is. We, we clean out what's called raw breeze. Now, I think, I haven't looked it up or anything, I haven't asked anybody, but I think the raw breeze is a byproduct of them using furnace coke to make steel and iron and stuff. I think the raw breeze is some of the stuff that's left over, like a byproduct or whatever. Um, so what we do is we uh, we pull our you know end up trailers underneath these uh, tanks that they have, these holding tanks for the raw breeze, and you just go and hit a pneumatic you know a pneumatic lever. It opens the bottom of the tank and it comes pouring out down you know back into the dump trailer now there's four of them all together but they're doing construction on the other uh furnaces i, th I think they're doing it i think they call it a reline or whatever so two of them are not accessible they're not even running so and normally what you would do we would pull in from the other side we would just pull straight in from the other side hit those two then pull drive down the link and stop at the other two which was which are on this side that i'm sitting on right now but since they're doing the construction on the other side we can't pull through there we have to actually back in through here um it's kind of wild because you got to go over tracks you have to go around the curve uh you got these these big uh ukes in a way they look like you know tonka trucks from back in the day they're in the way you got front loaders in the way back here and just all kinds of different optical obstacles that you have to you know uh maneuver around to get to back into here so it's kind of a pain it takes a little longer the only thing you can do is just be patient um you know just small corrections on your steering wheel and pay attention to your mirrors and where you're going you know if you have to stop and get out and look stop and get out and look you know there's no rush to get in here we only do about two of these per day and then the rest of the time we're sitting here waiting for a phone call or whatever just for something to happen but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and um uh, i'm gonna go ahead and call in here and get permission to cross these tracks and then and then uh, go in here and do a, a clean out i'll holler at you guys in a minute okay youtube so we're here underneath the uh furnace tanks where we do our clean out now, this up here, this is the curve you have to back around. You have to back down around. And you see there's sets of tracks. Up there, you would have to cross over them. You would have to back over them and then back down around this curve with this wall being here. And you want to try to straddle the rails. Now, this is a little safety thing we do here. The light's normally amber, but when we're up underneath here, we turn it blue. This way, I let it, if the train does come, even though I do have clearance to be under here right now, the train does come for some reason, they see the blue light and they stop. Now, if you see this big tank here, this is one of the raw breeze tanks. This is one of the tanks that we'll just into. There's another one next to it, a little further down here. You see right here, this, under, on this other side here, they got what's called bottle cars. That's these things. They're filling up with the, uh, with molten steel. They get transported to elsewhere and turn them off, turn them to flat. There's the second tank right up there.
goes. So what I did is I shut it off. I'm gonna pull up a little bit here. This tank here normally doesn't hold too much. It hasn't been cleaned out in about six hours though, so I'm just gonna pull up here a little bit. usually holds a lot more so we're gonna pull back up to the center of the trailer top it off right there in the center and then we'll have the rest of the back of the trailer to try to get as much as possible might get it empty might not Just so you guys know, I'm only creeping down through here. I'm only doing about three mile an hour right now. So, just don't want somebody to say, oh, you're holding felony, huh? And that, uh, this and that. No, I don't know. Might be up a little too far where I want to be. Or, no, actually, I think we're good. So right there, we see where somebody overflowed their trailer or they forgot to close the valve back. A lot of that stuff just came out. That's what all this is going to grab here. Now, this one's the opposite push. A lot of times when it's, when it's below freezing, this can get stuck up in there. And you'll have to take one of these poles here and jam it up through the hole and try to get it to free up. A lot of times it doesn't it doesn't break free and you'll have to call it back in. And they'll have somebody come up there and stand up top here with clutch hammers and bang on it until it frees up. It can be a real pain in the butt, especially with the cold out here. You can see there's a like tunnel. So, This one I'm just going to let it fill up if I see it start popping up over the side a little bit. And then I'll pull up some more and make another, uh, another fill. that off and pull up a little bit.
also got plenty of room. This stuff is real heavy. As you can see, it's kind of like a gravel mixed in with some real fine powder. Waving that or uh, roundabout. Definitely over 80,000 pounds here. So. so, YouTube, there you have it. That's how we fill up our uh, dump trailers with raw breeze. Um, you know, when I was uh, researching this job, I couldn't find any other videos like that. I don't know how many other people do it, but um, yeah, that's a, that's how you do it. Fairly simple. You know, it can be, can be a pain when it's freezing cold out and that stuff is frozen up there and you can't get it out. Or you have to wait for other people to come and uh, bang on that thing to get it to free up and, and fall out. It can, it can be a real pain when it's cold. But when the weather is nice and that stuff is flowing freely, you see there's no problems with it, you know? And basically all you do after you fill up, all you do is drive over to the scale, which is across the street, get your heavy weight, come back, dump it, fill out your paperwork, wait a couple hours to your next one. After you get your second one, peace out, head out, head back to the yard. You know, today I actually have to uh, I have to cut out a little early because they want me to head down to the coke yard or to the coke plant and uh, fill this up with furnace coke before I take it back to the yard. That way, the next person who's coming back up here later on tonight can bring a load of uh, furnace coke with them. But yeah, that's my video. Hope y'all like it. You know. Thumbs up, thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel, man. You know, I'm just trying to grow organically. You know, not trying to pay for subscribers or nothing like that. We're gonna see if, we're gonna see if we can grow this channel organically. You know, go back and check out some of my other videos. I think I still got some MMA videos that, you know, you guys can watch too. If they didn't get struck by copyright for some reason. I don't know, they're older. But anyways, yeah. You know, if you guys got any questions, about end dump trailing or end up trailers about trucking in general uh whether it be over the road or or local driving local or how to get a free cdl you know hit me up make some you know put some comments down in down in the you know comment section i'll get back to you guys you know what i'm saying i'll i like to answer i like to answer questions you know if i can help anybody get a free cdl you know, I'm gonna give you that info and let you get it. Matter of fact, one of my um, one of my best friends from childhood, I hadn't heard from him in a while. He called me up last night. He's you know thinking about a career change. He's a he's an uh, installer for Dish Network. He's tired of uh, climbing up on roofs and inclement weather and doing all that stuff. And he's thinking about a career change to uh, trucking. He called me up and asked me, you know, hey, is it worth 
you know, signing on to one of these companies that send you to free CDL school. Mm -mm. Don't do it. No, 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 no. So I hit him to the, you know, I hit him, hit him to the, to the uh, We Alba program. Let him know, hey, just go do this, this, and this. You can get a CDL for free, bro. You know? So he's going to look into that. We got, we got another one about to pop out of here, you know what I mean? He about to be out here making all kinds of money too. So, yeah, y'all like the video? Subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Charm. I'm out. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.